Who was he? It all began in Lindsley Chittenden Hall, in the basement at Yale University, 1963. Scratch that, actually. It was 1961. Directly following the trial of Adolf Eichmann, 11th April, 1961. Otto Adolf Eichmann was a Nazi senior assault unit leader. The question that arose was, could it be that Eichmann and his million accomplices were all just following orders? Could we even call them all accomplices? More generally speaking, this is an experiment in human obedience to authority. In this experiment, there's three roles. The first is the learner, who's actually just an actor. The second is the subject. He pretty much has no clue what's going on. But he has four bucks and fifty cents just for showing up to what he believed was a scientific study of learning or whatever they could come up with. The final role is the experiment. Wait, that's not right. The experimenter, who is played by Milgram himself. How about we give him some hats to make this easier? Now this is important. Both the learner and the subject decided to pick roles. A little hint, they both say teacher. The subject will say something like, wow, mine says teacher. And the actor will say, um, mine says learner. That's why he's an actor. If the subject is ever hesitant throughout the experiment, the experimenter is allowed to give four prods in sequential order. The first being, please continue. The second, the experiment requires that you continue. The third, it is absolutely essential that you continue. And the fourth, you have no other choice, you must go on. If the subject denies the experimenter after the fourth prod, then the experiment is over. And so the experiment begins. The subject will be the teacher and say, learn this stuff. And the learner will say, okay, repeat these words. Word, 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 word. Word, 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 wrong word. Milgram says, zap him. And the subject will say, okay. 15 volts. And then again, repeat these words. This time, it's 30 volts. And so, this process continues. Again and again, increasing 15 volts each time. until eventually, the subject has delivered the fatal 450 volt shock. Of the 40 participants, 26 delivered the fatal 450 volt shock. All 40 of them reached at least a 300 volt shock. 